What's good, y'all? Welcome to a new episode of A1 Sports Politics. Y'all see what it is, man. Y'all see I'm representing both of my teams, you know. You know, Lakers, you know what I mean? And them Eagles, you know. But apparently, I'm here to talk about the Eagles, you know. I'm Lakers down, you know. The A1 Sports Politics Laker edition hat on, you know. They available right now, you know. I'm going to show y'all a little clip a little after this, you know. But, um, yo, so it's a new episode of A1 Sports Politics. This episode, I'll be covering the upcoming 2021 schedule for my Eagles. Because everybody all on my Facebook talking about we're going to take this L, we're going to take this L, this that, and the third. We're not going to beat this certain team and all that. But you're going to see what's up, man. I'm going to keep it all the way a buck. And I'm going to tell you my opinion, who we think, who I think we're going to lose to, and stuff like that, you know. So stay tuned. That's what this episode is about. I won't be talking about my Lakers, but hey, y'all know this is Laker Nation, and I think Brian gonna be back on that court pretty soon. You feel me? So y'all stay tuned and hear my opinion and you know my truthfulness on our upcoming schedule for my Lakers, man. Let's go, A one. All right, now, y'all, let's get into week one. Before I get started, shout out to Nick Foles. You know what I'm saying? Brought the first championship to Philly. You know, always salute to Nick Foles because he did that. You know, this is my first time actually wearing this. Shout out to my Uncle Ace. Got me this, you know, this fresh drip, you know. Never been worn. And I'm not taking it back. And I mean, I'm not taking this off, you know. But I'm not taking it back. You know that. You know, I ain't taking it back. I'm going to keep this forever, you know. He brought us our first championship. But anyway, um... Now, let's get into week one. We got Atlanta first, at Atlanta, which is cool. You know, go to, go to the ATO and put it down on them. For the past few years, the Falcons, they've been giving us a good run, but we've been running, we've been owning the Falcons. You know, they, for the last few times, we have come out with that W. And I don't know, it might be the better bird that wins. I don't know, but, you know, great competitors, don't get me wrong. And it, it does be like that, you know. That's week one, I think we'll come out with an L. And before I even go down this whole schedule, we have to see how our defense shows up. Defense is everything. I think our offense is, you know, a pretty – I think our offense is going to be pretty good. And I think our defense is going to be solid. But we have to be solid because we they got picks. We know that they went pick picks at, at, um, at number four in the draft. Then they still got Julio Jones. I, mean, I, I was hoping that he would have, you know, probably got traded to Philly or something or something like that. But – they still got him, and they, they got other couple of weapons too. Uh, Matt Ryan, I still, I think he still can, you know, do his thing. He got a new weapon now, so you know, it, it, the, the sky's the limit for them. But I think we own the Atlanta Falcons. That's just what I feel. All right, now week two, it, a team that I've been waiting to play for a few years. I've been waiting to play them. I've been wanting to play against the San Francisco 49ers for a long time because AB. Since way back when it was a close game and uh, Brown was our running back at the time, Reggie Brown, if I'm not mis- if I'm not mistaken, we came up short because he tried to reach the ball out and we fumbled. Boom. So every since then, I've been wanting to play against the 49ers. I-, I think it's been that long, but I always remember that. I always have that memory. But honestly, this is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a tough game because the 49ers is a well-balanced team. So... You know, if it happens, I don't know. If it comes up to a point where, you know, we can come, like we can battle it out, you know, and have a balanced offensive defense, I think I like our chances, but at the same time, the 49ers is the real deal. I'm not going to stun. I'm not going to see her stun. I don't know how that defense is going to look without Richard Strayman returning. For as of right now, we don't know if he's returning. But um, we might take the L that week. I'm just going to keep it, but we might take the L that week. Um, to the Fort Niners, it's a, a pretty established team. I uh, know Jimmy, Jimmy G, he, he might have some type of, if you win, and start a job. But I think he will. I think he's going to have a chip on his shoulder. It's just about him being available. But so, honestly, I'd rather play against a rookie because when Jimmy G played, they win. You know, I'd rather play against a rookie that, that has less experience. So, But uh, I think we're going to take the L right there. So we'll be 1-1. One one. Uh, week 3, let's get into week 3, Monday Night Football against... The Cowgirls. <clears throat> Shout out to the Cowboys, though, because they gave us that pick. They trade. They let us trade up, and we got 
you know, Devontae Smith. But uh, Monday Night Football, big game, uh, big rival playing against the American team. Honestly, I think the Cowboys will get that one because we played them later on the last week in week 18. We got 18 weeks of football now. So I think we'll play against the Dallas Cowboys better in week 18. And I think that the the playoffs will be on the line. Maybe we might, you know, spoil their the appetite and not let them in. Like, we like to do that type of stuff to the Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? But I think the Cowboys will get that win because it, it's at Dallas and just – you know everything that's going on. It's kind of it's hard to be Dallas, but for us it's hard to be Dallas in Dallas. You know, but I think the, the, the Cowboys will get that. So that'll pay my Eagles at one and two. Week four playing against the Kansas City Chiefs at home. The last time we played against the Chiefs, they didn't. They it was a it was a good game. It was a good game. You know, um, we're at home, so that's a good thing. And shout out to Andy Reid, Big Red. You know he'll be making this. Um, appearances, his old his old yard, which is in Philly. Uh, but I think we take that L. Um, I think we take that L because I really got to see how our defense is. I got to see how our defense is. Um, I know they they went and got some more offensive linemen to, to protect that great, that great, great young GOAT, Patrick Mahomes. So I, I like I, – I think Kansas City will take us. I think they'll, they'll take that. Uh, just to pass the game is just, it's just too, it's crazy, you know. You know, so that'll pit us at mm, one and three. Then we bounce back week five against Carolina at Carolina. I think we got that. Um, I think we can beat Atlanta. I think, I'm, not Atlanta, sorry. We're going to beat Atlanta too. That's going to be, this going to be our second win though. I think the Panthers, they have that. I think they, I think we'll beat the Panthers. I think we'll beat the Panthers. Um, they had that L the whole at their own field, so that's cool. But I think they they're on the rebuilding stage. I think they'll be a better team in the next couple of years, and we also rebuilding too. So that's that's why it's hard for me to really predict and um, try to imagine how our defense is going to be because I really don't know. And our offense as well, our offense um, home at against Tampa. I think we beat Tampa. I think we beat Tampa straight up. I think. We beat Tampa at home. Tom Brady, you know, he'll have a feel. He'll have a hard day running from big Fletcher Cox and Graham, you know, in, the, in our other great pass rush. he have a hard time. So I think that that we had, like, we like our chances. We just, we need to play man. We need to play man. We don't have to drop in the zone because he'll tear our zone apart. And it, he'll get, be able to get the ball out. Too fast, so we want to get the pressure on Tom Brady and make him uncomfortable and try to run. And we know he don't run, you know. He he dick and he a duck and dodge, you know. But that's it, you know. So I I like our chances. I think we'll upset everybody. So we'll be three and three. Then week seven out here in Vegas, where I'm located, against the Las Vegas Raiders. I like our chances. We'll beat the Raiders. You know, the Raiders, a, a, a good team, a solid team, you know, coming up as well. They don't know if they, they trust their car and stuff like that. I think we'll let the Raiders beat the Raiders, basically. <laughs> so then we'll be over 500. That'll be four and three. Week eight at Detroit. I like our chances. We'll beat Detroit. You know, Detroit, I know they got Jared Goff over there now, which is cool, which is okay. But I like our chances, like I said. So that'll put us at five and three. Week nine against the Chargers at home. I like our chances against the Chargers. No disrespect to the Chargers. It's not a cool team. I, I pay attention to the Chargers. Know a lot of people that's Chargers fans, and they are in my city. I'm from Los Angeles, and they are the Los Angeles Chargers. But they'll take that L. That put us at six and three. Six and three. Week ten. Six and three. Going to Denver at Denver. Playing against the Broncos. I like our chances. We'll beat the Broncos. Broncos is the up and coming team. Um, they offense, they they got some, they got some young, 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 young cats on defense, and they also got some some talent on offense. So, you know, but I think I like our chances against them. You know, so that put us at six and three. Yeah, six and three. You know, so 
Hold on, let me run, let me run it back. Let me run it back. W L L one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That put us at six and three. You know. Now going into week eleven, six and three. At home, playing against the Saints. I'm tired of playing against the Saints. We keep playing against the Saints. I'll always see the Saints. But you know why I'm happy? Because I won't be seeing Drew Brees. That's why I think we got that W. And we'll come out as 7-3. Week 10, we 7-3. I mean, week 11, we 7-3. You know, that's just, that's how I feel. I think we'll 7-3, we'll get that W against them. Um, the Saints it still has a lot of potential. Offensively and defensively, but I like our chances. Like the Saints, they know they know the deal. But at playing them at home, though, that's tough. I'm not going. That's tough. That's tough. But I'm, I'm gonna stick to my guns. I'm gonna stick to my guns. Uh, so now we'll be on one. We'll we'll have one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll win six straight. No, seven straight. Seven straight. And yeah. We'll be hot. We'll be hot. We'll win seven straight. Um, because of course y'all we, we, we took them them three euro I mean the three L's to Frisco, Dallas, and the Chiefs. So we'll win seven straight. I really believe that. You know. Tampa Bay, they might be the defending champs, but I think we'll upset the world by beating them. Yeah. No, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry about that. It'll be, we'll be 8 and 3. We'll be 8 and 3. We'll be 8 and 3. Week 11, we'll be 8 and 3. Sorry, my apologies. But yeah, we'll be 8 and 3. Win. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just going on one. Now, 8 and 3, going into New York to play against the Giants. To play against the Giants, one of our rivals, I think the Giants is going to get us this game. Like I said, when it comes to our, our division, we always get them the second way around. Most majority of the time, we can get them the second way around. You know, so that'll put us at eight and four, eight and four. Then we going, we 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 still in New York, so we'll play against the Jets at the, on the same field, but same different team. You know, which is over the bridge in Philly. You know, so eight and four going to be against the Jets. I like our chances. We'll beat the Jets, up becoming team. They're not ready yet though. They're not yet ready yet. So that'll put us at nine and four, nine and four. So week 14, we'll be going into week 14 um, into our bye, 9-4, I believe. Um, after coming off and winning against the Jets, and then we'll have the Washington team coming up in week 15. So we all know during bye week, you know, it's an opportunity for teams to prep well, watch a lot of film, you know, and study these teams that's coming up on the schedule. Now the Washington team, they have gave us problems. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's not the Giants. It's not the Cowboys. It's the Washington team that gives us problems in our division. So I think with us prepping well, um, with our confidence up, we can beat the Washington team going into week 15. And then another thing, that, let me not forget this, we play the Washington team in week 17. So two weeks from the fit, from the week 15, we play them again in week 17. So that's even better. So I think we get that win. That'll put us at 10 and four. Then we're going to play the Giants again, who we played in the previous weeks of week 12. So it's, I think, you know, these games is close, but it's good for film, it's good to prep. You know, preparation is everything. So we'll be able to prep, prep for them, and we'll beat them. You know, we beat them again. We be, I think we can get them again. Um, I think they'll get us the first week in week 12, like I said, and then we'll come back and beat them in week 16. And then, like I said, we got week 17, We'll be playing against the Washington team. That's only two weeks ago when we just did all this film on the Washington team. So that should still be restored in our head. You know, it still should be in there. And I think the players should still remember how to prep, you know, in certain things and certain plays to watch out for. You know, so that's another W. And then we got week 18 against the Dallas Cowboys. Like I say, I think the Dallas Cowboys is going to beat us in week three. But later on, we'll get them. And I think that's what's going to happen. And then we, we just went and out from there. From our bye week, we're really from week 13 and down, we went and out. You feel me? All for five. We, we went in five straight. You know what I'm saying? Um, then with the bye, it helps us in week 14. So we went out. We I think the divisional 
championship might be on the line, and we might even take that against Dallas. I think we're going to take it against Dallas because that's what we like to do. We can take their soul, win the division, and finish the season 13-4. That's it. That's all. And that's and now I, I think the Dallas Cowboys are still making it to the playoffs, but I'm really rooting for the NFC East. Let me just let y'all know that. I'm rooting for the NFC East because I honestly feel like we got something to prove. Everybody, from my Eagles to the Dallas Cowboys to the Giants to the Washington team, we got something to prove, man. We had a terrible year last year, so we got to make it up. Okay, now, so after that, you know, which is a really good, good schedule, you know, kind of tough because we got teams like – the defending champs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, like I said, I think we are going to upset them um, because we want to make Tom Brady real uncomfortable. And we got Kansas. I think Kansas City going to give us our L. They don't give us an L. Dallas going to give us one of them L's. Um, Frisco going to give us an L. So that will be four L's. No, not four L's. I mean, I forgot one. And I think the Giants going to get us out of them one. So that will be four L's. So out of the other... 13 games, I think we're going to win. So we'll come out as 13 and 4. You know, only losing two two games in our division. Winning our, I think we'll win our division. I know Dallas might be the favorite because they they really do have a really good offense on paper so far. But I think our offense is low-key. Don't have too much film on Jalen Hurts. But I think he's a dude that wants to get better, obviously. He's working out already. He already but Right now, as I speak, Jalen Hurts working out with our young core right now. You know what I mean? So, I say we finish our season 13-4 and go into the playoffs. That's it. That's all. And y'all don't have to believe it, but I do. I kept it real. I told y'all the certain teams that I think we're going to lose to. But we all know it's in the given Sunday. It's in the given Thursday. It's in the given Monday. You know, it is what it is. And then it's going to be Saturday. It's once the playoffs come, but we, we will get to the playoffs. But I think my Eagles is finishing the 2021 season 13-4. That's my opinion on A1 Sports Politics. I thank y'all all for tuning in. Y'all can be talking all that stuff y'all want because y'all y'all just don't know yet. I barely know, but I know more than you people that's not our fans. You know, I, I know that, you know, we got some young. We just drafted another young hog at the running back position. We got a whole backfield back there. You know, we got some, we got some running backs. But Miles Sanders, he's going to have a hell of a year because he's cold. He cold. You know, and Jalen Hurts going to have a good year. Devontae Smith was a steal. I feel That's why I feel like we stole the draft. So that's what it is, man. Y'all stay tuned, you know, for more A1 Sports politics. Talking about my Eagles, you know. And um, let's not forget, man, my Uncle Jason James got something to say to y'all before we get out of here, you know. And that's what it is, man. I'll holler at y'all later. And I'll holler at my Uncle Jason James, man. Hey, what's good, y'all? Hey, yo, it's Uncle Jason James. You know, I'm out here on vacation, but I keep getting phone calls and pay, they paid to me. I you know I still got a pager. They paid me all week, you know, 911, 911. What's 911 for? Oh, y'all play against the Chiefs. Y'all play against Tampa Bay. Y'all play against um, the San Francisco. I don't care about none of that. I ain't scared of none of them. We, yeah, it's the schedule tough, but guess what? We tough. I'm tough. You know what I mean? This man right here, I'm representing. He tough. You know what I mean? I'm on vacation. I'm just trying to, re I'm trying to enjoy myself. But honestly, I think you know, I like our chance, man. I like our chance, man. I might be on vacation, chilling, you know, I'm doing my thing, man. But I keep this with me right here. This football older than your granny, boy. I'm talking about, boy. This, this football, 47 years old. You know what I mean? You know these young grannies out here nowadays. But anyway, I think we gonna win our division. I think we gonna take about. I, I told my nephew we talked for a minute. I said, uh, I said we we might go about twelve and five. He say thirteen and four with what it is. But you know who I'm looking forward to play against? I, I'm looking forward. I want to play against Tom Brady because I feel like the the NFL they they got favorites and all that. I I'm still ball too. You see, I got the ball with me. I bet you Tom Brady don't got the ball with him. You know what I mean? They need to give me a shot. Let me still play. You know what I mean? But that's why I'm looking forward to Tom Brady, man, because we going to get after him. We got that vicious D-line. He can't run like that. I can run faster than Tom Brady right now. That's why I'm looking forward to play against him. And I got a little personal issue, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I can still play. But anyway, I'm looking forward to play against Tampa Bay. I think we're going to beat Tampa Bay. We're going we gonna to really shock the world when we beat them. Then we're going to go on one, man. Jalen Hurts, man, he's wearing number uno. I can't wait to give me one of those. I might just, just cold do it like this and just, you know, this leading number one right there. Oh, you know, something like that, man. But I'm looking forward to Jalen Hurts having a big year. You know, we drafted pretty well. Devontae Smith about to go on one. I know it's I know it's auntie. I know it's auntie, you know. So um, yeah, man. A one sports politics, well, Jason James, man.